what are the advantages of von neumann architecture as compared to harvard architecture what is a von neumann architecture as we know in generally when we are speaking about the architectures we say that von neumann architecture is an architecture where we have a unified memory unified memory for data and instructions and harvard architecture we have separate data and instruction memory there are some advantages of von neumann architecture as compared to the harvard architecture but this harvard architecture also has some advantages which are not associated with von neumann architecture for example let me elaborate first in case of harvard architecture we can concurrently access instructions and data because these are two separate memories so at the same time we can access instruction memory and we can access data memory so concurrent accesses are possible in harvard architecture okay and likewise von neumann architecture has some advantages which are not with the harvard architecture and one of the advantage of von neumann architecture is the uniformity what i mean to say in when we are speaking about the uniformity is that the control unit in our processor it retrieves both the instructions and data in same manner so there is no difference in retrieving the instruction or retrieving the data so the design of control unit is very simple because it works in the same manner irrespective of whether it is getting the data or the instruction from the memory the second advantage of von neumann architecture is that the input or output devices okay data from input or uh, or output devices or instructions from input or output devices are retrieved in similar manner okay the third advantage of von neumann architecture is is the better memory utilization let me elaborate this advantage better memory utilization let's say we have a harvard architecture so this is our instruction memory and this is our data memory okay in harvard architecture for example we have a program and we have some data let's say this data occupies the entire data memory and this program occupies a small portion in instruction memory okay let's say we have some extra data dx we want to add this data in data memory since the data memory is already full we have to take out some data from the data memory make some space available in the data memory so that we can insert this new data at that particular space okay but you can see that the memory was available this memory was available in instruction memory still we cannot use this memory because this is categorically reserved for instructions so the memory was available there but we were not able to use this particular memory let's take the similar 
scheme in case of von neumann architecture so in von neumann architecture these two memories are together okay so let's say data has the initial data has occupied this space and program has occupied this portion okay this portion now we have to insert new data dx so this dx can be easily inserted in this free space but the same cannot be done in the harvard architecture so in harvard architecture memory utilization is not better however in case of von neumann architecture von neumann architecture memory utilization is better let me clarify here that in our modern processors in modern processors we are using both von neumann and harvard architecture so in cases where we can where we can leverage the advantages of harvard architecture we use harvard architecture in that particular case and where von neumann architecture benefits are required we use von neumann architecture in modern processors von neumann architecture is used for main memory our main memory in modern processors is a unified memory that stores both the instructions and data however the cache designing the caches these follow the harvard architecture so in caches for example in l1 caches we have a separate instruction cache and we have a separate data cache d cache and i cache i cache is required to store the instructions and d cache is required to store the data so in case of caches we are using harvard architecture and in case of main memory we are using von neumann architecture we can say that in modern high performance cpu chip designs the aspects of both hardware harvard and von neumann architectures are used as i clarified here that in case of caches we are using a harvard architecture where we have an instruction cache and a data cache and in case of main memory we are using a von neumann architecture 